Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallace hier. Heute werden wir ein bisschen über den Genitiv sprechen. Today we're going to talk about the genitive case in German. The genitive case in German is used to show possession. In English we do this by the use of of or by an apostrophe. The genitive is used more in written German than in spoken form. However, you will hear it also in spoken form. Uh, a lot of times von plus the dative is also used to replace the genitive. For example, das Auto von meinem Bruder. In English, we no longer use this form. We just use the apostrophe S. Let's take a look again at how the definite articles change in the, the genitive here. Der words or masculine words will change to des. D words will change to der. Das words will change to des, and if it's plural, such as D, then it will change to dear. Let's take a look at the indefinite articles. Ein for a masculine noun will change to eines. Eine for a feminine noun will change to einer. And ein for a neuter noun will also change to eines. So if the noun being written in the genitive is a masculine or neuter noun, a der or a das word, then the noun itself will also take an ending, and this will be either an s or an es. If the noun is more than one syllable long, it will just take an s. Okay, for example, the time of my life, die Zeit meines Lebens. Leben, das Leben, is uh, two syllables, Leben, so it adds an s. Another example here, der Kreis des Lebens. However, if the noun is just one syllable long, then it will normally just take an ES. And again, this is only for masculine or neuter nouns. So, for example, my friend's car, das Auto meines Freundes. Freund is one syllable long, so it adds an ES. Or, der Titel des Filmes. Film, masculine noun, one syllable long, adding an ES. Feminine and plural nouns do not take additional endings. Genitive prepositionen, the genitive prepositions. Just like there are prepositions that govern the accusative and the dative, there are also prepositions that uh, always uh, calls the genitive. Stadt or anstatt, which means instead of. Außerhalb, outside of. Innerhalb, within. Trotz, in spite of or despite. Während, during or while. Wegen, because of. Oberhalb, above, unterhalb, beneath, jenseits, the other side of, und diesseits, this side of. So now we're going to do some prepositional phrases using genitive prepositions. Because of the rain, wegen des Regens. Regen, masculine noun, two syllables long, regen, so it's going to add an S in addition to der changing to des, so wegen des Regens. In spite of the heat, trotz der Hitze, Hitze is a feminine noun, die Hitze, so it changed to der, and Hitze itself took no ending. Während des Sommers, uh, Sommer is a masculine, just as are all seasons in German, der Sommer, it's changing to des, and Sommer is two syllables, so it adds an s. Innerhalb des Motors, so Motor, two syllables, Die Seits des Flusses, Jenseits des Flusses, Während der Ferien, Oberhalb der Erde, Außerhalb Euro Europas, Unterhalb des Meeresspiegels, Innerhalb der Grenzen, Grenzen here is a plural noun, changing to der, und Stadt des Buches. Masculine nouns that end in E, which is only occurs with some masculine nouns, they will add an NS in the genitive so that it becomes ENS. The, the list of these is relatively short. Normally, when you see a word that ends in E in German, you should think, if you have to guess, that it's a feminine noun because 95% of the nouns that end in E will be feminine. However, these seven here are masculine, so they're worth remembering. Der Buchstabe, der Friede, der Funke, der Glaube, der Name, der Same und der Wille. 
time expressions that are indefinite, either in the future or past, are expressed without a preposition, but expressed in the genitive case. The two main examples are eines Tages, one day or some day, and eines Jahres, one year or some year. Wir werden eines Tages viel Geld haben. We will one day have a lot of money. In the German genitive, the item being possessed appears first, and the possessor appears second. And the possessor is the noun that's going to take the genitive case. For example, if we wanted to say this in German, my brother's car is blue, we would start with the car and it's almost like they say the car of my brother and this brother, my brother, is going to be the genitive. So I often say that it harkens more back to Old English where we used to say the car of my brother. So this would be das Auto minus Bruder's. Bruder, der word, masculine noun, changes to des, but we're using mine, so we're going to add that es onto mine, so minus. Bruder is two syllables, so we're going to add an s to it. So we have the item being possessed and we have the person doing the possessing. Okay, uh, one additional note. When showing possession with the names of people, countries, or city, German adds an S without an apostrophe. So, das ist Jakobs Haus, or das ist Wilfrieds Buch. Das ist Atlantas Flughafen. Okay, and then just some more samples here. The girl's father, you would say the father of the girl. So in German, this would be der Vater des Mädchens, der Vater des Jungen. Jungen's a little bit unusual here. It doesn't add the S, yes. Uh, das Buch des Professors, die Tasche der Frau, die Regierung der Leute, das Auto meiner Mutter, das Auto meines Bruders, das Auto meiner Eltern, das Haus seines Sohnes und das Haus seiner Tochter. Okay, vielen Dank für das Zuschauen.